Hello and welcome back, my name is Maxi and the last video had quite a good reaction time so you know what, let's just skip all the introduction and this is what we're gonna be doing. So everything you see in the video will actually be linked in the description and is available for free for you to download right now so that you can actually follow along with the tutorial. Furthermore, this will all be accomplished in under 15 minutes, so we will create a small basic scene in under 15 minutes. And I have a timer to prove it, for you people who don't believe me. Yeah, I know you're out there. Okay, so we've got 15 minutes, the timer has started, we're gonna go ahead and uh, download the City Subway Modular Train, we're gonna go ahead and create a project, and uh, once you've done this, good job, you're already halfway there. Um, okay, so we're gonna open it up and then once we're inside, we're gonna learn the basic navigation. So right click to look around, um, left click if you want to move uh, backwards and forwards, and the middle mouse button is to move down and up. So, you know, just play around a little bit, look around, explore the model, it's actually a really nice model, very highly detailed. Uh, I'm gonna link in the description uh, some more models from, from these ones because it's insane, I mean the outside and inside is it's very high quality. Um, okay, so uh, once you, you know, you're familiar with everything, you can, you can look at the little details, it's, it's quite impressive. If you hit G on your keyboard, it gets rid of all of the little stickers, it gets it like in, into game mode, so, um, so that's good. So uh, we're gonna go on Mixemo, um, the link is in the description, we're gonna go ahead and and select our SWAT guy um, on the left of the page you can see all of the different characters I went to the second page top left and I'm just gonna go ahead and download that so we're gonna first select him then we're gonna go ahead and download it without any animation so just standard download then we're gonna search for an animation in this case I went for the rifle walk forwards um, which is there so we're just gonna select it and it's gonna animate it we're just gonna trim it a bit longer so the video lasts longer make it slower so it goes it works a little bit slower and we're gonna download the animation without skin though that's very important without the skin so we're gonna go ahead and download that and when we're gonna be back into our engine we're gonna import everything and then we're just gonna drag and drop and yes oh my god it's that simple you just drag and drop it into the game and you are done so we're just gonna reposition him very quickly and once you are done with that we can go ahead and move to animation so once we position him we're gonna create a cinematic tab. we're gonna go ahead and um, add something so we're gonna head and add uh, you don't see it but I'm actually clicking the button so you're gonna have to add a new uh, sequence new level sequence and then once you open a new level sequence you're gonna be shown with this and we're gonna add a shot track and this is a linear editor, so very much like After Effects and uh, the Adobe Suite. Uh, so this is where our shots are going to be created. So we're going to head and add Create Shot, then we're going to name it, um, I don't know, Shot01, and it's going to create it. So this is going to be your shot, basically. Uh, you can you know drag it around, you can resize it to, to whatever size you want, just like you would do in After Effects or Premiere Pro, to be honest. Uh, so you resize this and then you double click in this and you once you double click and you, you can see there that you're inside of the shot one um, then here is where we're going to create the actual shot so we're going to head and select our character we're going to go ahead and um, just do this so we can see better okay so we're going to head and add then the top 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 is going to be add actor we're going to add him to our sequence we're going to add an animation and once you have your animations there you can just click and select it for you is going to show up and we got him animated oh yeah here we go look at those moves so this is great so already halfway there we've got an animated character we've got um a setting we got pretty much everything now we're just going to put in the real animation which we were intended to um and we can see there's a little problem though so the animation is all good but he is missing a gun so we're going to go ahead and download the gun now i've already pre-downloaded i'm going to put a link of course with this in the description as well and um, so i think it was this one yeah okay so we're just going to click this one and we're going to drag and drop it just like him and then we're going to quickly reposition it um i mean you can go as fast as you want or as detailed as you want um, obviously we have 11 minutes so we're going to go quite fast we're just going to quickly reposition it and once you have repositioned him in hand wait a second so once you have repositioned it, all you need to do is go to the right and search for the name of the gun and you're going to drag the gun and drag it on top of the actor, literally drag and drop and that's it, you're attached. 
so once you go back and look into the editor you should see that uh, they are now attached together look at that this is amazing this is magic okay so this is great so we got a gun we got a character um, now all we need is a camera so now we're going to go ahead and add a camera so we're going to hide everything we're going to select a nice angle we like it doesn't really matter just look around explore um, and this is why it's great you can go ahead and explore look around practice your composition skills then we're going to go ahead and, and uh, click the camera button at the top left and it's going to create our camera on the right we can see you know the zoom settings or the focus settings so we're going to go ahead and set it to something like maybe you know 24 and keep it you know still so um, then we're going to go ahead and um, maybe we actually select you know 50 millimeters uh, from the zooms and then we're going to move around now you can choose a shot so you can actually reposition the camera anywhere you want you know just practice a little bit you know look you know find what looks nice it's it, even if you're not planning on producing anything you know serious this this still can really help you learn your cinematography skill so once you have actually gone ahead and chosen your position we're going to go ahead and add the keyframe uh, then we're going to move forwards we're going to move the camera um, probably a little bit not too much and we're going to keyframe this as well so then we're going to have we're going to right click on the keyframe and set it to linear um, so we're just going to do that so that it goes at a constant speed because most cameras usually move at a constant speed um, so just like that so that's it so we're already pretty much done with the scene uh, you can see a little preview there so now we're going to lock the camera view we're going to set it back to lit mode and this is what we've just created so on the right you can see the focus settings and you can go ahead and keyframe that as well move it forwards show the debug plane and select your character and keyframe it again and then just take the debug plane off and that's it you put focus and you keyframe the focus so it changes focus as the character moves forward so you've actually attracted to the character um, quite advanced okay so now we have one scene and we want to create of course more than one scene and um, it looks quite not good looks very nice so yes I'm impressed we're gonna go back to the master sequence we're gonna save it and we're gonna actually go ahead and zoom out and now we're gonna right click on it and duplicate this we're gonna right click duplicate shot and we're gonna save it as shot number two once you saved it it's gonna appear underneath just gonna drag it next to it and now you double click that and now you are in shot two so we're gonna repeat everything we did before but we're gonna have to delete the camera frames from our previous animation of course because we had we keyframed it to a certain um, camera movement so once we did that we lock it in position and choose um, another angle so we're just gonna probably go behind him and move you know probably follow him in so we're gonna go back at the beginning keyframe it like we did before so we keyframe the camera perfect gonna set it to linear and then we're gonna zoom, move forwards um, so we're gonna move forwards really fast lock it in perfect and we're gonna also move the camera we're gonna go ahead and move the camera slightly and we're gonna keyframe that as well perfect now we're also gonna select it and put it back to linear like we did before okay so it goes at a constant speed remember then we're gonna go ahead and select our focus so we're gonna show the book plane we're gonna place it right on our character then we're gonna keyframe it we're gonna move back perfect then we're gonna you know move it back to where we want it and keyframe it again and so now we also have the camera movements and the um, focus selected and uh, sorry selected keyframe which is great so now we have our second shot done and we're going to quickly go ahead and view it sorry this should be there okay we're going to lock it in position and we're going to view our second animation let's go ahead and play it perfect okay so this this looks very nice already so we already have two scenes and we have six minutes left so we are at a good pace okay great so we're going to go back to the master sequence we're going to take uh, the shot like before actually we're going to just view it very quickly so we have the first shot and then we're just going to trim this back like normal video so we're just going to trim it like you would in, in premiere pro or after effects perfect and then we're going to drag back perfect so now we have our first composition 
good. So actually, you know, we're going to do something different. We're going to keep this for last, and we're going to head and create a shock which is going to be in the middle to create a nice transition. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate it again, and um, perfect. Now we're going to go back and delete the keyframes like we did previously. So delete the camera keyframes of the movements and the focus. So then we're going to find another position like we did before. So we're going to go ahead and lock the camera in position. Um, wait a second, I can't find the camera. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and lock the camera in position like we did before. And now we're going to find a different angle. So now we're going to go from the front. And we're just going to select a nice little position from the front. And so yeah, so once you've selected uh, your position, we're going to go ahead and keyframe it like we did before. So we're going to go back to the beginning. No, actually, we're not going to keyframe this. We're just going to leave the camera still. What we're going to do is we're going to change the focus on this. So we're going to, perfect. We're going to, you know, switch to debug. And we're going to select the focus, keyframe it, move forwards. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep focus on the rifle, basically. So just at the beginning there. And then we're going to keyframe that again. Yeah, just about there, so we're going to keyframe that. And now if we move back and forwards, oh, actually we know we need to set this to linear, like we did before, because uh, you can see that it doesn't track it properly because it's not steady, so we're going to set it to linear, and this one as well. And now that they're both linear, you can see it's going to be stuck at the rifle, which is what we want. So this is exactly what we wanted. We have created our third scene right now. So we're going to go ahead and view uh, what this looks like without the debug plane. But you can see it sticks it quite well to the top of the right. So we're going to take this off and we're going to lock the camera view. And it looks quite good. So this is where we're actually going to transition to the other shot. So we're going to you know, close this in and we're going to drag this. And it fits perfectly, so that, that's good. And if you view this very quickly, so lock the camera, and then we're going to view this, it adds a little nice, you know, snap, and then has a nice a nice transition. Actually, you know what? The good thing of this is they're all editable, so if you want to go back and shot free, we can actually modify that. And I actually want to zoom in a little bit more in his backpack. So we just go back there, we're going to lock the camera, we're going to zoom back in and we're just going to keyframe that and that's going to update everything else in real time so we're going to keyframe that and yeah that looks a bit better and so now we can see that it starts from closer and as it moves out so we're going to go back to the master position and it's going to give us a nicer transition from the two shots let's say so let's look at them and it goes in and it moves out so you can barely you know see the transition there it looks quite nice and we have three minutes left and we have completed our uh, short video. Of course, this is very basic, but you know, you got around you uh, the software understanding the basics. So let's view this. Okay, we're gonna back to the beginning and let's see this. So it changes angle and then there's a transition. So it looks quite good to be honest, not, not to complain. And you know, remember that we have two minutes and 50 uh, seconds left. We made it in less than 15 minutes. You're now all certified professional artists. Uh, you can go out there and show your friends and families already the work you've created. And this, of course, was a basic overview of the whole program. It, it didn't really go into depth, but at least it showed you how simple it is and it motivated you that uh, this is not, uh, you know, an extremely hard program to start learning and to get into. Of course, the more time you do spend, the better results you will get out of it. So we're at the end, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned a lot of it and had fun. Um, I hope you're going to go ahead and start making these straight away. Now in the next one, we're still not going to be making this short uh, movie, I promise, because we're going to be actually playing around with the iPad and the HTC Vive, and we're going to be doing the actual virtual production still in this scene which we have created, but this time we're going to be moving the cameras ourselves. So, stay tuned for the next tutorial, uh, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe.